is the result of this freedom, the result of this freedom lies in our power. That is, we can produce now a righteous living in the sight of God. Yeah. Look at our text. Look at verse 22. Look at verse 22. But now having been set free, say, I'm free. I'm free. Look, I don't want you walking out here saying, I am free. I am free. free. No matter free. what's going on in my life, no matter what, what, I, what sin may still be set me, though it seems, I am free. free. All right. Amen. I am free. So let's just look at this. But now having been set free from sin and having become slaves to God or a servant of God, you have your fruit to holiness. Another translation would say you have your benefits to holiness or sanctification. Holy means to be set apart. See, there is something that we have to understand them that as we are, as we are living free in Christ, as we're living free from sin, free of the law, sin of death, free from the law itself, then we, then we produce from that righteousness or holy living. It's, it's almost like this. If we put so much thought on sinning, then we're going to end up sinning. Right. It is so simple. Oh, I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. Oh, oh damn. I did it. Right. Have you ever been there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't. Yeah. Oh, no. I can't watch it. Oh, I'm watching it. Oh, how do I get there again? Right. Tell me. Get your thoughts off of that. Right. Right. See, see. We have to live and walk according to the Spirit. And as we walk after the Spirit, then the Spirit becomes to become more lively and resonant in us. And then we don't have to worry about those other things because we're only seeing the things of the Spirit. Spirit. Yeah. See, the power of Christian freedom, family, is allow, it, it allows us or it gives us the strength and ability. Listen, it gives us the strength and ability to be who we are to the glory of God. Yeah. Ultimate God. You have been called to be free so you can glorify God and so you can serve one another. How can you serve one another? How can you glorify God if you're caught up or you enslaved to sin?